So I did a little inspection today. It's been a while since I made a video. Just trying to see if everything's ready for winter. And it looks like populations are pretty good. Uh, but that little nuke right there, first time I've ever tried this. As far as wintering anything, bee-wise. But that little thing's kind of got me worried. Probably over nothing, but... The bottom actually has three frames of undrawn foundation. And I'm getting bit. There we go. The next box in the middle is where the queen's been the last four or five times I've been in there. And she was in there today. A good bit of brood. One frame of solid honey. The rest of the frames had honey circled around them. But in the bottom box, there's an empty comb and some pollen. The next box up, I put in two frames of capped honey from the big hives. Because I didn't take any honey. I left it off. Which I didn't get much. I think there was 20 frames total. And I just left it right where it was. And uh, they've just about ate all that. And on top of that, I do have a feeder, which I've fed them a little bit. But I was just trying to see what they would do. Or if I needed to. And I think I do. Um... Uh, so what do y'all think about that one? Do I need to feed that? In the bottom box, there's three dreams, three frames of undrawn foundation from where I've done more splits and probably stuff I shouldn't have done earlier in the year, not recently. An empty frame and a frame of pollen. In the second box, there's a frame and a half of honey, three frames with brood on it. And then the next box up is where there's two frames, or I'd say probably two half frames of honey and three frames of medium foundation which they hadn't touched so what do y'all think I mean I don't know I want to feed but I don't want to if I don't have to but that right there is got queen cells in it there's eight of them this is their last shot to make it I started that split on the first time on Hmm. July 4th, I think. And now we're, we're August 28th. And they've tried three times to make a queen and she never makes it back. They got eight more queen cells. I put eggs from that hive in there. And about two weeks ago, I noticed a itty bitty swarm in a, well, right over there. I stepped on all the trees to make them where I could get to them. And I put them there. And I had some, uh, they didn't have a queen. I don't know how they got there, where they came from, but now I know where they're at. So I put a frame of eggs in there for them too, with had, with had a lot of cat brood. And there's only, I think, two or three, there's three frames in there. I put one with the cat brood eggs and honey on it. And then there's just an empty comb and there's a piece of foundation which they've drawn a little bit. I did have a that quart can sitting right there on top of my blazer with sugar water in it. And I looked today and the dang thing had leaked. And uh, so I took it out. It was almost empty. And you see these little critters right here? Sugar ants. They're everywhere. And they might not bother the bees a lot, but they really, really irritate the crap out of me. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I mean, there's ant hills. There's an ant hill. There's ant hills. They're all back behind where I walk back and forth when I look at this stuff. But I think I'm going to have to get something. And here's these little critters. Just love them. Wish I wouldn't have waited so long to get introduced to them. Oop, there's a drone. I need you, buddy. But, uh, anyway. What do y'all think? I just don't see the activity at that one that I think you should. I did do a oxalic acid vaporization treatment last Saturday and I'm fixing to do another one and if I can figure out how I might try to film it 
But uh, see, there's ant heels under that hive right there. Right there. All up under the stand. Look, I'm, I'm going to go around back here so I don't. Look at them little suckers. Everywhere. Look, they carry an egg. That one right there, I don't know if it'll pick it up. But anyway, see, they're everywhere. Now, I kind of think that's part of the reason my bees have been cranky. Plus the dirt and fall and... I don't know. But anyway, thank y'all for watching.